Chancellor, that baron seems to be afraid of me. Perhaps he has a guilty conscience, sire. At least he has come to the banquet. There are so many empty places. It is true that some have not yet arrived, but... Well, uh, where is the Earl of Northumberland? He is reported to be sick, sire. And the Earls of Sussex, Kent, Gloucester? Oh, I have no news of them, sire. I commanded them to come here and swear their loyalty. Am I not their king? Those of us here have no doubt of it, sir. Do you mean there are some in England who dispute my right? There have been some foolish rumors. What rumors? These rumors say that you are not the rightful king. <laughs> that is an old wives' tale. My elder brother Henry is dead. Prince John is years younger than I am. Suppose Prince Henry were still alive. Ah, uh, Henry. Then he'd be king. But poor Henry is dead. I saw him buried at Rouen. The King of Scots did not. And Prince John has taken full advantage of that fact. So it is in Scotland these rumors started. Has John told King William of Scotland that Henry is alive? So it seems. Why did you not tell me before? I also prefer to deal in facts, not in gossip. So I sent Sir Gilbert Le Gros to the Scottish court to find out what he could. He should return tonight. And when I know the facts, let all traitors beware the Lionheart. Sire, Sir Gilbert is here. Remain seated, my lords. I have affairs of state to attend to. Well, Gilbert, what's the news from Scotland? I'm not too late for the bank, am I? I've ridden day and night. Not a bite to eat until I hear your news. Oh, sire, it's bad. Why, I don't know where to begin. Sir Gilbert, I sent you to track down these rumors. Did you succeed? I did. Worse than that, I, I, I saw a ghost. Oh, so the Scottish wine was too strong for you. Oh, it was like fire. And the food. Ugh. We'll discuss your stomach later. You say you saw a ghost. Yes, except he was alive. A ghost alive? He was like your brother, Henry. Henry died six years ago. Well, he says he didn't. You saw the funeral yourself. I know. And, and, and yet... And yet what? If this man is not a ghost, he must be a liar. I suppose so. But if I hadn't known Henry was dead, I, I might have believed him. Richard, he looks just like a Plantagenet. Oh, that won't convince anybody. But it has. The King of Scots believes he is Henry. And he's been fooled. What else did you learn? The Earl of Northumberland and the Northern Lords are wavering. I'll deal with them in my own time. Tell me more about this pretender. Well, then, he has your father's voice. Close your eyes and it might be the old king himself. A trick. He knows all the gossip of the court. Things he used to do as a child. What things? Uh, a time when you cut Henry's hand with your toy sword and said you'd be king before he would. Did this man tell you that? He did. He has dozens of stories. He even remembers how much I love Saddle of Lamb. It certainly sounds almost convincing. Still, John would have primed him well. Richard, if you listen to him long enough, you begin to believe him. Did he tell you where he'd been all this time? Yes, he did. A prisoner in the fortress at Caen. At Caen? I remember. There was a man kept there in my father's time. What happened to him? He escaped when my father died. No, it's impossible. Surely that couldn't have been Henry. You see, in time you almost come to believe it. 
What does Prince John say? Oh, be sure he keeps well out of it. He's not even there. But he's sent word he accepts the man as Henry. No doubt. Well, it's a good story, but I saw Henry dead with my own eyes, and I don't believe in ghosts. Oh, I'm beginning to feel like on myself. Richard, I haven't eaten for well, several hours. Well, when you are ready, join us. Now, what new trouble is afoot? That is the Herald of Scotland. Do you bring peace or war? That is, as the Duke of Aquitaine decides. I was addressed as the Duke of Aquitaine before I became King of England. It is an insult to address me so now. My master, the Scottish King, requests safe conduct for a messenger. A messenger? From whom? From your elder brother, Henry Plantagenet, the rightful King of England. My brother Henry died at Martel and was buried at Rouen, as all the world knows. Has King William of Scotland heard knockings? Had strange visitations? Dreamt strange dreams? <laughs> there is no cause for mockery. Richard of Aquitaine, do you grant safe conduct to the messenger? You have my word. Let him approach. Duke of Aquitaine. That is the least of my titles, Sir Knight. But I am grateful your master leaves it to me. King Henry asks for nothing that is not his own, by right. King Henry? As the eldest son, he demands that you give up the crown you have usurped, together with all other titles and lands belonging to the king. May I keep my shirt? When you have done this, King Henry commands you to retire to your property in Aquitaine. Wouldn't he rather I went to China? That is for him to decide. Richard of Aquitaine, do you agree that justice shall be done? Yes, I do agree. To justice. Sir Knight, tell my pretended brother that I will never give up an inch of England to a traitor. Henry Plantagenet is dead and gone. But your master will find that Richard is very much alive. Then you will not give up the crown. Let him make one of paper and wear that. I will deliver your insults faithfully. Then go from here and do so. Aren't you finished play-acting? No, not quite yet. There remains one thing more. Richard of Aquitaine, I defy you as a false usurper. And by ancient custom, I challenge you to fight for your crown. A challenge? Then I'll take it. But, sire, you cannot fight. Why not? I've been challenged. It is a trick to kill you. The sword may be poisoned, as once before. Oh, I'll have to risk that. But, sire, it is not the custom for a king to fight a challenge. Only his champion may do that. Then I'll make a new custom. Sire, if you are killed by treachery, then everything is lost. You are playing into their hands. Let me pass. Let me pass. This is my duty. Sir Thomas de Beaumont, what is the meaning of this? I am one of the king's champions, and it is my right to take up any challenge to my king. But, Sir Thomas, the title of King's Champion for you is only a compliment. You have never been called upon to fight. Not until now. You have not recovered from your wounds. It would be madness to fight. Are you afraid I will disgrace you? No, 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 no. Everybody knows your courage, but I want to fight my own battles. You're shaming me before the whole court. I would never do that. Then let me fight this insolent fellow. No. Lord Richard, this knight has taken up my gauge, and by the laws of chivalry, he must fight me. That is true, sire. I cannot deny it. Herald of England. Sire. Let the tournament be set for noon tomorrow. And may God defend the right. No, sir. He must fight me here and now. It is not for you to name the time or the place. Now will you fight? King Richard, must I bear this? No, by St. George. Stand back. Let them fight now.
Keep to the rules. The other, King Richard. Go! For the honor of King Henry! Black Knight is no hothead. Look, he holds his arm like a Teutonic Knight. That means he's a champion. healed. That black knight would be a good match for me. Knight wins. King Henry's champion wins. Richard of Aquitaine, your champion is beaten and your cause is shamed. Do you still defy my master? I will defy him to the death. Then let all the blood be on your head. We shall meet again. This is a sad blow. The common people will take it as a sign. Is my faithful knight dead? Not yet, sire, but he's badly hurt. Let my own physician be sent for. Sir Thomas must be saved. England needs men like him. It's sooner than we might expect. If only we had more. Never mind, Gilbert. You will have to do the work of four men. As long as I can eat for four as well, sire. You see, sir, the rats are deserting already. Lord Oufferville was always my enemy, Chancellor. Oh, there are others, too. And there will be more. Soon you will have none left but your few faithful knights. And my faithful chancellor, don't forget. Mm. I will never desert you, sir. <laughs> At least now I know who my friends are. Cheshire is loyal, you say? And Norfolk? Oh, yes, sir. But it will take a month to raise men there. We may be too late. Only a hundred knights. All the rest hold back. This imposter Henry has confused them. Even I, who knew the real prince, was nearly fooled. Sire, news from the north. Bad news. Then let it speak for itself. Sire, the Scots have crossed the border. York is taken. One thing upon another. Where are they now? The King of Scotland has his camp near Huntington. Huntington? That was quick work. Any word of my so-called brother, Harry? He is with the army, sire. They say he will soon be proclaimed king. King? We must raise an army, sire. In a month at this rate, they'll be at the gates of London. Tis true, sire. Perhaps in Normandy, you could raise another army. You mean run away and live to fight another day? Shame on you, men. Do you not know King Richard by now? Well, sire, I couldn't think of anything else. What is your advice, Lord Chancellor? Let us take every man we can get and march on Huntingdon. But you'll all be killed. At least we will die with honor. No, I won't let you fight. I don't want hundreds of useless deaths on my conscience. But Richard, if we can neither fight nor run. No, Gilbert, my mind is made up. I myself will fight. I will go to Huntingdon. I will challenge this pretender to meet me in single combat for the crown of England. But, sire, the Scots may take you prisoner. No, King William is a man of honor. He dearly loves a good fight. But, Richard, it's a terrible risk to go there alone. I will have good companions. You, Gilbert, and Blondeau. Together we'll be more than a match for any ghostly brother. But the stakes are too high. A crown. But a king who is not a king is nothing.
What's this? They're attacked! Put up your swords. These men will lead us to King William. Where's your officer? King Richard? Sir Geoffrey de Lacey. Uh, I know it must seem I'm a traitor, sire. But the Scots have taken all my family as hostages. And they made me come so that it might seem that the pretender had some English supporters. You had no choice, Geoffrey. Sir Gilbert told me about it. If I see the chance, I mean to do this pretender some harm. So you will, if you lead us to King William. Does the pretender trust you? Trust me? No, sire. He trusts no one but the Black Knight. Well, I've got a score to settle with him, too. Lead us to King William. I will, sir. But you're a prisoner now, as much as I am. That remains to be proved. Crown of England has been stolen by the traitor Richard of Aquitaine. What's going on over there? It's the pretender. He's being proclaimed king. Idle words. I'll make him eat them. What are you going to do? Hear ye! By command of the King of Scots and the English barons, I proclaim the same Henry Plantagenet. King of England! Who is this knight who makes so bold to interrupt us? It looks like, but it can't be Richard. Well, he's a brave man to come here with no army at his back. What a fool. Now we can capture him and kill him. Oh, wait, Henry. He's your brother, isn't he? Ah, yes, of course he is. Then we'll have no murder done. We'll hear what he has to say. Brother Richard, I cannot say you are welcome. And how dare you wear the royal arms of England? Fellow, I wear them because I am England. Why have you come here? Yes, why? You don't frighten me, you know. My brother Henry was afraid of no man. I want to see if his ghost is as brave. Brother, I am no ghost. I am flesh and blood. That is what I intend to prove. If you have any blood... Do you dare to threaten me, your brother and your rightful king? You're no king, and you're no brother of mine. You are put up to this by Prince John. I won't stand for this. King William, will you let him insult me? Henry, if he insults you, you have a remedy. You can fight him and win your crown at one stroke. But I... I might lose it. You cannot lose what you've never had. You're a figment of my brother's imagination, my friend. No. No. I don't care to soil my hands. Richard, you are my prisoner. Can you take me? No. Richard is my prisoner. But I do not intend to try and capture him. I will be content, King William, as long as I get my fight. Henry, you were once a famous knight at arms. Surely you haven't lost your skill? I... I'm out of practice. All that time I was in prison. I'll fight you with one hand. No. I told you before, I don't care to fight you. I'll fight you blindfolded. I can't fight my own brother. Henry, this is shameful. Don't show yourself a coward, man. This is no Plantagenet. I'm beginning to wonder myself. When did one of my name ever refuse to fight? Henry? No. I told you, I, I'm sick, I, I have a weak heart. Too weak to be a king. What do you mean? I mean that I will not support a coward. But you promised. I promised to help a prince robbed of his inheritance. But now I do not believe that you are what you claim to be. Oh, very well. If that's the way of it, then I will fight. And may the braver man win. Now, give me my poignard. There'll be three bouts. 
If we get that far. I don't like it. Neither will Henry. There's a trick somewhere. That coward hasn't got a chance. He knows that, and yet he's going to fight. He has no choice. King William won't support him unless he does fight. The Black Knight told him something. It's time to go. Don't trust him, Richard. I'll be watching in case of treachery. Don't worry, Gilbert. I'll make short work of the pretender. Bovell, carry me safe. For England's sake. who fights the same way. I knew there was a trick. You've got another man to fight in your place. How dare you? Get out! You'd better throw me out. I'll have you whipped for this. You're not Prince Henry. Who are you? Let go of me, you hear? Let go! Come on, confess! Who are you? All right, all right, all right, I'll tell you. Look! Richard's down. He's beaten. Black Knight. Richard, you do not need a king's champion to fight your battles. Well done, Richard. Well done indeed. King Richard has to say to you, Gilbert, that's no way to treat a king. A king? Ha! This fellow used to work in your brother Henry's kitchen. <laughs> 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 so that's how he knew so much. They always said he bore a strong resemblance to Henry. <laughs> and that's why so many people were fooled. Well, you wretched creature, what have you got to say? Indeed, sire, it's true. I, I was Prince Henry's servant. When he died, I, I went into the service of Prince John. Traitors must be punished. Oh, have mercy on me, sire. For God's sake, have mercy. I didn't dare refuse. Prince John and Lord de Courcy threatened me. You're not worth my anger. Sir Gilbert will arrange your punishment. Well, 
Welcome to London. And let there be peace between us. Hello! Where's my saddle of lamb? Coming, my lord, coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a king is a king, or he's nothing. Blessed in the churches that he erected in those days of yore. 